good day to you, partner. I'm Keith, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Hey guys, Wheat Solo here, aka The Skeleton King. I'm having one of those days where I'm like struggling to record this, so I'm gonna plow through it this time and just get her done. First thing on the docket, I've had some fans reach out to me this week. There was concerns, um, I'm super touched by all of the warmth and acceptance and the safe space that you provided me to talk about some of the issues that were going on. TMZ brought up, uh, the article was eventually picked up by you know the New York Times, the Associated Press, you understand how that is. And yes, there was some missed content, but no, it was not about drug use and it was not about T. Kenny and I possibly having a falling out. T. Kenny and I have never been stronger. Our relationship is, is bond, bro. I think that's what that means. Anyways, expect less content. <laughs> Um, I don't like to make redundant content, but you could argue my content is incredibly redundant, but that wasn't my goal. Um, it's just people really like to ask the same thing over and over again, which is why you really start to realize that, you know, you, for, from my perspective, I complain about certain YouTubers for making redundant content, but it seems to be that's what's popular. I don't know. It is, there's something weird about that where you need to make the same video over and over again, but like just slightly different. Yeah. Anyways, um, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I did try to be a streamer for a tiny bit. I found it awful. <laughs> I thought it was like the. It made video games worse. Making YouTube content, I actually think is kind of fun. Being a streamer just was making playing video games like it wasn't even like it was a job. It was like because <sighs> I actually want to do my job. I didn't want to do my streaming. So it was even worse than a job. Ugh, anyways. So what are my plans for the remaining of Season 2? Well, I'm going to get to 99. As you can see there, I'm finally starting to get there. You know, at the beginning of the season, you got to make your profit. Then you get your build together. Then you get to 99. I want to do a speed run of Ubers. I'm excited about that. I want to do the speed run of T3. I want to do maybe a T2 speed run. Uh, a low gear check on Uber, so I'm excited about that. I want to see how low I can do it online. But again, I only have so much time. Uh, so I'll get to that when I can. I want to do D-Clone. And then after that, I want to do a meme build of Fire Golems and Corpse Explosion. Because we have this six, six, six socket main songs. T. Kenny and I found those six fire facets. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the last little thing is we found the Hadriel Sword from D-Clone. And I am going to make a video on the build that I came up with, not T. Kenny, okay? T. Kenny did none of the hard work. All he does is complain about this build that I came up with without offering any suggestion other than, what about tear haunches? And I'm like, well, they're good boots, but no, they're not gonna make your damage higher. But it buffs resist fire. I know, but we're not gonna run resist fire, T. Kenny. We're gonna run holy fire because we're not running the dragon rewards. I think it's going to buff the Holy Fire damage more. I mean, I really do because it's how soft points work. I'm like, that's literally not how soft points work. Kenny, come on. It's like they never buffed synergies like this in vanilla. Okay? I don't know, man. And then the guy doesn't understand FHR. <laughs> he really doesn't. <laughs> so this is the last part of the video. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about some Necromancer stuff. Is... When you're getting to the end game, so you have, you know, your skills, by the way, 59, 57, 56, Skeleton Mastery, Skeletal Warrior, Skeletal Mages, is about as high as you can get. There are ways to get one to three more skill points, but it gets incredibly unlikely to find those items. I'm talking odds in the one to 400,000 for items like a wand that's better than King Leoric. It's that rare. So what you're going to do is you're going to work on... By the way, look at this 125 FCR. I'm like a fucking machine gun. I feel so awesome. And somebody had Vigor. God, I miss Vigor. I still think Act 5 is better now. It's just without revives, you need that extra ump when you telly stomp. But man, I'm just like a... I'm like a literally... I'm a machine gun, except I machine gun out curses. So you want to focus on FBR, FHR, FCR, and... It basically life. So how do you go accomplish all those things? Well, life's pretty easy. Use jaw runes. 
Um, Jaws have never been cheaper. You can easily get them for 1.25 Pyrunes. I bet if you stayed in the game, just AFK, you could buy them for two Vex pretty easily right now. I think it's possible by the end of the season, Jaws will be worth one Hyrun. They just don't have much of a role in the game. Although it does seem like Dream is catching on a tiny bit. Two builds run Enigma, which are getting popular. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it'll stay above one Hyrun. We'll see. But look, right now I'm putting two Jaws on my shield. That's 100 extra health. I have two Jaws on my chest, which is like 200 extra health. Uh, so 300 extra health, that's not too bad. And yeah, you're like, whoa, but we solo, that's four high runes. Or let's say you pay 1.25 each. That's five high runes. Five high runes for 300 health is way better than spending, you know, two high runes on 40 life skillers or 45 life skillers. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. To get out those last stats, you got to pay a lot. For FHR, you really want to get to 52. For FBR... You need to get to 86, which is super annoying because Steel Shade, Storm Shield, Water Walks gets you to 85, which is one below. For FCR, 75 is fine, but as you can see, I want to make a crafted amulet so I can get to 125 FCR on this setup. And that's my last little goal on my, you know, my tanky setup. I need to find a few more skill points and, you know, just do all the fun things I want to do for the rest of the season. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to return for Season 3, though. I do want a beta test, so expect a lot of content for that. But after that, I don't know. GG. Skeleton King, out.